I think that homemade vanilla is the most wonderful thing that ever happened. I grew up eating Blue Belt. Truly ice cream is my favorite food on the planet. We've made some flavors, you know, from peanut butter and jelly that actually had, you know, some maybe bread pieces in it. How well did it do? I mean. We would never want our headquarters anywhere else. Brenham is that small town feel that we love to take everywhere because we really like that community, local feeling of family. We are really involved in the community and the community is really involved in Bluebell. Because you can't get any better ice cream. So Bluebell Creameries actually started in 1907 as the Brenham Creamery Company. And we started by making butter um, from the excess cream from our local dairy farmers. And so it wasn't actually until 1911 that we started cranking out some ice cream. But that was only about two gallons, which was enough for just the employees to enjoy. So it actually started in that 1911 when we ate all we could. And then as it began to grow and grow, then we would start to sell the rest. So Blue Bell is more than just an ice cream. It's a, it's a celebration, it's a comfort, it's, it's something that invokes memories and experiences together. It, it's like a Disney World, but it's Blue Bell. So whenever you're ready, hop on over here, we'll get you some ice cream. Yeah, listen, Blue Bell is a tradition for us. Okay. Tell them how many times we come. Uh, more than I can count. <laughs> <laughs> I guess two. We have our roots in this very small town. It wasn't until 1930 that we actually changed our name from the Brenham Creamery Company to Blue Bell Creameries. Now this is based off of uh, E.F. Cruzy's favorite flower. So that Blue Bell flower was his favorite flower, summertime flower when ice cream was just super popular. In 1936 was actually when we got our first freezer truck. Um, so before then it was actually carried around by horse and buggy. Um, and so we had a very small location in which we could serve this horse and buggy until 1936 when we got this first freezer truck, we were able to expand that location. So more and more parlors. And so these are mothers and fathers bringing their kids to these ice cream parlors. It wasn't until 1958 that we ended up deciding to stop that butter production and then continue just full time with that ice cream. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So that cow and girl logo was actually introduced in the 70s. We didn't really know how it was going to take, but it actually um, has taken off where it's very recognizable. We have some stories where kids see this on the side of our trucks or on a billboard and they point at it and say, ice cream, ice cream. Look, a blue wheel truck. This has become a very recognizable logo. Come on, kids. In the 1980s is when we first began to expand outside of Texas. So since the 80s, we've expanded to now 22 different states with 62 different branch locations. In the past 30 years, we've actually come out with over more than 300 flavors. But we're always working on something. We're usually working about a year out. Bluebell is on social media, so Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as our Pinterest page. We want people to be in the know and get excited when new flavors come out as well. It's really interesting that we can go and be in 22 different states and still carry along that small town feeling, that hometown, homemade, uh, cranking the ice cream, the southern hospitality type of feeling. There's nothing like the taste of the very best. We eat all we can and we sail the rest. No matter how far we go, we want people to understand that this is the little creamery of Brenham. It tastes just like homemade, really, really. Remember back when you was a little kid, you know what I mean?